Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is December 21st, 2016. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in today. So on the first day of winter, we'll see what this market has in store for us. And what we see is the futures are down about a buck and a half to 22.65 per contract. This is not a big drop by any means. This is the kind of market we're in where if we go down, we go down very, very slowly and gradually. And if we go up, we go up pretty slowly and gradually as well. Last couple of days, the markets really have just been choppy for the most part with some slight gains. And that could still be the case today or we could get a little bit of a pullback. But I don't think traders should look for any large or erratic action. I think things are starting to slow down as we get closer to the Christmas holiday. And don't forget, after next week, we have to look forward to the New Year's holiday. So volume trends definitely start to drop off around this time period. But let's take a look at some stocks in the news because that's where the money is going to be made. First off the bat, we're going to take a look at FedEx. FDX is the ticker symbol here. This is probably the most important transport company in the world. And what you're going to notice is that the stock is gapping down. Closed at $198.74 yesterday. It is now trading at $173.51. Briefly got below $192 after the closing bell yesterday. So when I look at this stock, I'm trying to find levels here that would look attractive. But again, we're not down all that much. Yes, it is about a four-point drop. But the reality of it is we're not down a ton. So whenever you see something like this, you still got to be on guard. You see, I got to look at the market, let the chart pattern play out. So there's really not a lot I would do with FedEx at the moment. But if we did go lower and make new lows, then I would look at this a little bit closer. I definitely see a lot of support around the 182 level. Uh, also more support. I guess even a little bit lower around the 180 level. So again, unless we got down there, that's where I would really be concerned. But right now for FedEx, we'll be watching this one once the opening bell rings. We'll see what kind of pattern forms. We'll see what kind of play we get out of it. But again, not a lot we're going to do with it right initially at the opening bell until we see a little bit of a pattern being formed. But nonetheless, this should be a drag on the transports. This could affect UPS today. If you take a look at UPS, you'll see that's at 115.70. That close, that is down from 117.52, which was the close last night. Again, UPS, the only level that would really interest me right now would be around the 111 area, 111 and a half. Anywhere down there, I do like UPS today. So we'll see how that plays out. Again, we're still quite a distance from it, but keep that on the radar for later today. Let's take a look at Nike, another big company here. Uh, this is more of a sports apparel uh, bellwether here, but what you're going to notice is the stock is trading at $52.64, closed at $51.79. So it's upticking a little bit. I just don't see a lot of upside here for Nike. Um, Again, the chart doesn't look all that strong. So again, I just don't see this thing going up much, much more. There is definitely good resistance at 53.50 and then more at 55.50 if it needed it. I'm not sure it's going to even get to those levels today. So be a little bit careful with Nike. We'll watch this one once the opening bell rings. We'll look for pattern. We'll see if there's any plays uh, throughout the trading day. And again, if you want to trade alongside of us, Come on over, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room, and you'll see what it's all about there. Let's take a look at Finish Line, F-I-N-L. This stock is trading down sharply. I believe this is earnings, um, but this also could be affected by Nike stock as well. This stock is trading at 1955, closed at 2301. The level I'm looking at right now for Finish Line would be at 1740. So if you're going to get interested, around the 1740, 17, maybe 1730 level. That's where I would step up into this stock on the long side for a trade, day trade or a scalp bounce play. So again, keep that on the radar. In sympathy to finish line, uh, you're going to look at Foot Locker, FL. And again, this could be affected um, by Nike if it falls later. Right now, this stock is coming down pretty decently. It closed at 75.61. Now trading at 73.45. Um, a level I like for this stock today is uh, around 70 bucks or maybe 69.80. Pierce of 70 dollars. I do think that's a good level. I also like 68.50 if it gets there. So keep both of those levels on the radar today for uh, Foot Locker should it get down there 
ticker symbol FL. Let's take a look at Winnebago today. WGO is a ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at $39, closed at $37.20. If you own this, I hope you have fun, but if you own this, this stock right now um, is overbought, severely overbought. Trail the stop loss immediately, and then uh, just sit sit back and see if it could go a little bit higher. But I would immediately trail the stop loss. I would not be a buyer up here at these levels. So Winnebago, very, very overbought, very, very extended. A lot of times they gap them just to crap them. So again, uh, push up could result in a fade play today. Be a little bit careful with Winnebago up here at these levels. Um, great move. Definitely a good little move, a two-point move here in Winnebago this morning. But again, this thing is way overbought, way extended. You don't want to get in here at this point in time in this stock. So again, if you own it, trail the stop loss. If you do not own it, steer clear. This is a potential fade play. Next up, we're going to take a look at Paychex. P-A-Y-X is the ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at 61.89. You see it just jumped right there. Closed at 61.93. So it's basically back to break even. Um, there could still be a little bit more upside in this name. But again, this is getting extended. This is getting stretched out. So be a little bit careful. I don't know if this is going to get much past 63. And again, um, if you own it, trail the stop loss. If you do not own it, I would not be a buyer here at these levels. Let's take a look at ACN, which is, which is Accenture. Um, this stock right now is getting hit a little bit, trading at 119.90. It closed at 124.10. So this is a little nice little downtick. The only level that interests me um, for this play would be around 117. Gets to 117 if you want to step up there for a bounce play. I have no problem. You can get a, probably a scalp or a, even a, a near to a short term day trade out of it um, around the 117 level. Keep that on the radar. Uh, today. All right, let's take a look here at the gold market. Gold is trading up $3.40 to $1,137 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD this morning, what you'll see here is that that is trading at 108.19. Gold has been under pressure with the strong dollar recently. Today, the dollar is pulling back a little bit. Gold is getting a little room to run to the upside with the dollar pullback. Crude oil is up 17 cents today. So crude right now trading at $53.47, and that is a barrel. And again, crude upticking a little bit. You see the USO trading at 11.65. Basically, this is just a few pennies higher than where it closed yesterday. So again, we're not going to make too much out of that. Remember, this is a hol holiday-type week. Um, Christmas is on Sunday, but a lot of traders, a lot of hedge funds, a lot of money managers take vacation this week and next week. So just realize that volume should be light ultimately. Um, I don't expect the markets to fall sharply, nor do I expect them to really climb all that sharply from here either. We've had such a big move since the election. So again, uh, we'll see how this plays out, and we'll just let this market tell us a little bit more. But Again, be patient, take the best chart pattern levels, and that's what's ultimately going to make money. Again, if you want to trade alongside of us, come on over, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. You'll see everything that we are doing there. We're going to look to keep uh, a good year going right into the end of the month. So with that being said, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. want to wish you all a great trading session, and we will see you on the charts.